Hey, I know with Jerry. Jeremy, tell me a little bit about what you do and for how long you've been doing it. Yeah, hey, Nate. Yeah, thanks for having me on. So my name is Jerry Abiog. I'm one of four co-founders for Standard Insights. We are an AI as a service uh, analytics and marketing platform. And so we help businesses drive growth by leveraging the first party data. A uh, company's been around for almost five years. Awesome. Awesome. So who's the ideal customer for your business? So we want customers that are open to learning about new technologies and who just want to get better uh, every day by leveraging their first party data. And where's that first party data reside? It could reside in their point of sale system, ERP platform, e-commerce platform, or now uh, uh, their RFID uh, scanner. Okay. Okay. So us coming out of COVID here in the past couple of years, that obviously shifted a lot of different markets and how people communicate. Um, what changes did that make to your business? Um, and has any, have any of those stuck around? Yeah, I mean, it, it's helped a lot. Um, so we've been around for almost five years and our messaging is relatively the same from when we started day one. Mm -hmm. But when we started and prior to COVID, it kind of fell in deaf ears. But nowadays with the uh, business challenges that are affecting everyone around the world, we got a recession, we've got inflation, um, you know, you name it, labor shortages. I think businesses that want to win are becoming more cognizant to the importance of being more efficient and becoming uh, data driven. Yeah, absolutely. It's, uh, absolutely. Well, COVID, uh, you know, though it has, I know it's hurt a lot of people. It's actually helped us. Yeah, I found uh, as I do a lot of these interviews and talk to different business owners, it's it's kind of a, a toss up. You know, some businesses, depending on how they're set up, it's been yeah. beneficial and they've they've been able to adapt. And others, it's it's been detrimental to their business. Yeah, for us, it's it's been a blessing in disguise, right? You always got to look at the positive things, right? Yes, yeah. while cover was negative, it did have a you know positive impact on businesses, especially like myself and my team uh, in the technology AI space. Awesome, awesome. So uh, I always go through this question. So smart people learn from their mistakes, wise people learn from the mistakes of others. One of the benefits of this series is getting to learn from other business owners. So what are some mistakes that you've made that you could bring light to and help other entrepreneurs avoid in the future? Yes, yeah, so for us, I worked for another software company prior to co-founding this. The big mistake that we did, I did, was not being able to explain the so what the software did in terms of helping solve one's business problem. It doesn't matter what bells and whistles your service or your product has. No one really cares about it. All they care about it is solving my business problem. And can you explain that in a simple way, especially if it's in the technology arena? Yeah. So being able to clearly identify what, what's in it for the customer, how it solves their it. problem. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. So you've been in business for a while. Have you had a coach or a mentor that led you through, you know, personal life or business life? And how did they make a difference for you? Yeah, I'll give you two examples. Uh, first and foremost, my parents, right? They gave me, the, uh, inspired me with their work ethic. And I do that and subscribe to that, uh, you know, on a daily basis. Um, you know, number two, do I work with someone? The answer is yes. I'm currently working right now with an ex Navy SEAL, awesome. right? So that's the best, you know, help me, you know, align things. And uh, for one thing, help me get into meditation. Mm -hmm. So just, uh, you know, as a business owner, you're, you're running hundred miles an hour, but just kind of help get um, just a better center of focus through meditation. Awesome. Awesome. So you obviously have a, a very fu future forward business um, looking to see you know, usher in a new economy, use that first party data. What do you think the future looks like for your business? Are there any challenges you see moving forward? Yeah, I mean, there's always challenges, uh, right? It's just, you know, you know, balancing everything, right? With the, with the projects coming in, am, am I properly staffed and so forth? And then finding talent. Um, you know, right now there's a big crisis going on with, uh, you know, quiet quitting and, you know, not everyone you talk to a potential, um, you know, someone that works for our organization will be willing to go hundred, 110 miles an hour. Right. Yeah. So they may just, uh, phone it in and, and leave and, you know, log out at five o'clock. Um, yeah. it's not the way we operate things, <laughs> you know, so, uh, just, you know, working hard and going, um, you know, the extra mile. Right. 
you had mentioned prior to this uh, in the green room about your wife doing an Ironman. Mm -hmm. I mean, you got to work at that. I mean, I've done a handful of those in the past and there's no phoning in, phoning that in. You got to do the work. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's awesome. So what advice would you give to a young person getting into business for the first time in today's world? Um, you know, work your butt off. Right. I, you know, we talked about it prior to that, the, uh, the quiet quitting, if mm -hmm. you're at work, I mean, I, I get it, the, the work from home phenomena, but if you have the opportunity to get FaceTime with your, uh, with your manager, with your boss, do it. Um, mm -hmm. If you have an opportunity to attend a happy hour, do it. I know you may have some Netflix show to watch at 501 and you're logging off at, you know, at, at five o'clock and, you know, attend that happy hour, right? You may learn something. You may not get that promotion, but um, you may learn something. Uh, you know, case in point, I was speaking at a trade show, you know, last week and the, uh, the young lady, uh, you know, at the, at the front desk, we were chit-chatting, you know, asked me, uh, you know, how my, my show was going. And then she mentioned to me that, hey, people attending the show not only want to improve their, their sales for their company, but also want to improve their sales to position themselves for acquisition. So I took that nugget of wisdom and uh, incorporated that into my presentation. And she was the front desk, uh, you know, uh, yeah. taking, the, taking the tickets and get, getting things ever organized. So yeah. if she didn't give me that, you know, nugget of wisdom, I would not have adjusted my presentation on the fly. And so point is, you can learn from everyone, right? So, yeah, you want to log off at 5 o'clock, 5 on 1, watch your Netflix show. But if you've got an opportunity to be in front of person, in front of someone, maybe your boss, maybe your manager, and attend that happy hour, do it. Yeah, absolutely. Make that one extra call. Make that yeah, one extra meeting. One extra call, whether it's in work or in, uh, you know in training for an Ironman. Yeah. yeah, that's that's awesome. So, what inspires you as you move forward today with your company? You know, I think with me, even though there's a lot of negative press out there, there are a lot of cool and awesome people yeah. out there wanting to get after it and get better. And those who are the people that I want to align myself with. Awesome. Awesome. So if people want to get in touch with you, learn more about your business, what's the best way for them to do that? Yeah, they can find me, uh, Jerry Abiog, A-B-I-O-G at LinkedIn. I should be the only one there. Or they can shoot me an email, J-E-R-R-Y at standardinsights.io or all spelled out. Awesome. Well, I'll link those in the description of this video so it's easy for everyone to reference. And Jerry, I really appreciate your time. Thank you for doing this interview with me today. Hey, thanks, Nate. Thanks for having me on.